Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I thought we would talk a little bit about luxury items again and this time we can talk about luxury items I've sold, a few of them, and the reason why I chose to sell them. I sold a lot of pieces before I even started YouTube a year ago, so these are items you might not have seen or some of them you have seen. I'll try to remember maybe five, six, seven pieces that I've sold and we can go through them. I also will insert a photo of each and every one of them because I don't have them here to show you. So I will need to insert a photo and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and give this video a thumbs up. So let's start. We can start with the bag that comes first to my mind and that's the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM, I think it's called, in the dark brown color with the squares on them. I got that one from my boyfriend for my birthday, I think six years ago, five years ago. And when I went to school, when I got my bachelor's degree, bachelor's degree, oh my God, that was hard to say. Okay, when I got my bachelor's degree, I wore that bag every day, like religiously, every single day. I wore it so, so much and I loved it. And when I finished school, I kind of went a little bit tired of it. I started, that was one of my first luxury bags and I kind of started seeing everyone, everyone having it. And I, my style developed a lot. So I went from that Neverfull bag to other, other types of bags that I don't see that much of. So I stopped using it for a while and then I just decided to sell it. Either way I got, I probably got the cost per use because when I got it, it didn't cost that much. Now it costs almost twice as much. So I definitely got cost per use because I use it every day for school. I don't recommend using a designer handbag for school, but I did and it survived. It didn't get ruined at all. So that was really good, so good quality. And it was really, I don't know how to say it, but it worked really, really well for what I was using it for. And that was, I think I used it two and a half years for school. So that one had to go because my style developed and I didn't find myself reaching for that one anymore and I don't like to have bags in my closet that I don't use. So I think after I stopped using it, I sold it, I think I sold it like one or two years after I stopped using it because I didn't have the conscience to have it in my closet. And while we're talking about Louis Vuitton, we can talk about the Louis Vuitton Speedy. I had the small size, the one that is like this big, in the white color with the squares on it. I bought that one when I was in Nice with my family. When the hell was that? Probably about the same time that I had my Neverfull, maybe a year later or something. So it would be five years ago, I guess. And I bought that one and I was so happy. I I think I spent some of the money I had started earning from my blog. Some of the first money I've earned, I had earned from my blog, I used on that bag and it felt so amazing. And I was still kind of into those Louis Vuitton classic bags at the, right there at the moment. And I used it a little bit. I didn't get the use out of it as I wanted because I don't think that speedy version is for me. I just, I've had other bags after that, that it's kind of the same style and I always tend to sell them. And I saw, actually sold that one at the same time as I sold my Neverfull because I kind of was over the Louis Vuitton thing. I really want a Louis Vuitton bag again now, but that's kind of, that's the Pochette Matisse in pink and that's a totally different bag. But I was kind of over that typical Louis Vuitton bag that I think everyone had. So I ended up selling that one as well as I didn't use it at all. And the next thing that comes to my mind is my Chloe Susanna boots. If you watched my shoe collection video that I filmed a year ago, I think, I'll link it up here so that you can go watch it and down below in case you haven't. And I was considering selling my Chloe Susanna boots when I filmed that video. I wanted the Chloe Susanna boots for so long. They were on top of my wish list for so, so long, but they were way too expensive. Then I started working at a store where they sold the Chloe boots. And 
there are really strict rules about buying luxury purchases on the personal discount, on the employee discount. So I didn't get to buy them right away. But when we, when they've had, when they had been in store for like three, four, five months, I was allowed to buy them <clears throat> on my employee discount. So I got a, I think I got the half price or something. There were the blue suede Chloe Susanna boots with golden details. And I kind of think back now and I think I would have worn them more if they were black with silver because blue, suede and gold. I really love suede and I love, I like blue but not my favorite color and I use, and I probably use the most silver. So the combination wasn't all that right but I ended up buying them and I used them on and off for the first two years. Uh, not really much, but enough to not sell them. And I always thought when I put them on that they looked weird on me. I think they look awesome on everyone else, just not on me. So when I suddenly didn't use them at all and I ended up reaching for all other boots than those, I figured I just had to sell them. They're way too expensive to just have standing in your closet. And I, as I said, I love the look of them, but just not on me. They're not for me. I was considering buying them like in black or pink or anything, but I don't think I will. Because the style is still the same, even though the color and the hardware change. So that's why I sold them. Then, which other bags did I have? Yeah, I had the Shivanchi Nightingale in light gray. That was a pretty bag. I haven't regret regretted selling it, but when I think back, that was really, really nice. It's the light gray Nightingale in small, I think. I had the silver, no, the light gray with silver. And I also bought it at the store I worked where we sold, they still sell, uh, luxury pieces. And I also got one on my employee discount. And I love the bag, but I, as you know, I love colored bags and I love kind of special bags. And this one was light gray and a classic. And also that I love my crossbody bags. This one did not have a crossbody strap. It only had like two tiny shorts one that I only could hold in my hand and a little bit longer one to have on my shoulder. So it really wasn't that easy to use. It, it wasn't easy to open either. And it was kind of that in between size. It was not a small bag, a mini bag, and it was not a medium bag where I could get my MacBook and my camera and everything on it. So it was kind of, I, if I wanted to use that one, I still had to use another bag for my MacBook and I think it was too big to have another bag with it so it didn't get used and it was hard for me selling it because I wanted it for so long but I just had to I couldn't have it in my closet and not wear it too way too pretty to do that then we can talk about my Prensa Schooler PS PS2 in a tiny version I think yeah the Prensa Schooler PS Two in a, or 11 or whatever you say in a tiny version I had it in white it was like this big and it was really really nice I kind of just got tired of it I think it was really nice it was white with silver hardware easy to open and close it was crossbody so it was everything I wanted in a bag but I just at some point I just stopped using it and some bags are with some of my bags, I stopped using them for, um, for a few months and then I start using them again. But this one, I never started using again. I maybe used it one or two times a year for the last two years before I sold it. So I think it was, it was really about time I, I had to let it go. And I thought really hard just to get that bag in my mind again now. But it was really, really nice, super pretty bag. There's something about white bags that I don't really like. I like every other color. And can you see that all my the bags I've been talking about so far that I've sold are the classic ones in a classic color. So yeah, I almost never sell my colored ones or my special ones. Except for my Prensa Schooler PS1 in bright neon yellow. What the heck was I thinking? Let me first say, I got it at 70% off on the end of summer sale or something. So I got it really, really at a really good price. I wouldn't have bought it for, a, for the full price. 
but that should kind of ring a bell, I think. If you wouldn't buy it at full price, why do you want to buy it on sale? I'm not sure. But it was a nice bag. I love the shape of it. I have it now in a smaller version in the pink suede. Uh, and I, I really, really love the PS1. But that was big and it was neon yellow and it was in the regular leather. If it would have been, let's say, blue suede or green suede or anything like that, I probably would have kept it because the size was big enough to hold my MacBook, I think, if I remember correctly, and all the things I need. But the color didn't work with almost anything in my closet, so it had to go. I only had that one for a year or something, I think. Okay, I also had, I've also had numerous Alexander Wang bags. We can first talk about... No, the last bag I want to mention is my Alexander Wang Diego. Rocco? Diego? Yeah. It's a bucket bag, the Alexander Wang Diego bucket bag. I had that one in black. Oh, I just remember a lot of more bags. Oh my God. The Diego, I had it in black with rose gold hardware and it was really pretty and I wore it a lot for a few years. But it was super heavy. It was so heavy because of the hardware underneath on the bottom, it was insanely heavy. And I couldn't have anything in it, almost anything in it, because the opening was so small that if you wanted to take out something in a rush, you couldn't get it. And if it was in the bottom, you definitely couldn't get to it. So you either had to have like almost nothing in it, just the things you really need, or you had to stop to pull it open and find the things you needed. So really impractical, unpractical, really not practical, what you say? And that's the reason why I sold it, it was heavy, and it wasn't practical at all. I also just remembered that I had the Philip Lim Pashley satchel. I've had that one in the large in black. I've had it in dark green with gold. And I've had it in like a black zebra striped pattern-ish thing. I think that's all. Yeah, and that bag is really cute. That's also a bag I ended up seeing everywhere. And I was, I just, when I see a bag everywhere, I just get tired of it. And the black one I also wore a lot for school. Yeah, the black big one I wore a lot for school. So when I was done with school it was too big. And after that I changed it for a smaller one and that was... I kind of just got tired of them both. Both the green one and the black with the zebra pattern-ish on. So I've had three of those. Oh my god. Yeah, and there's also a lot of other bags that, that I've had and sold and I don't think I can ramble on about all of them right now but I kind of wanted to draw, draw out the most important ones and the most classic ones maybe to tell you why I sold them. I always love the bags to begin with when I buy them and I don't buy bags that I don't want maybe except for that neon yellow one <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm good at selling my bags in order to get new ones of course because I get tired of them when I've used them a lot. And I, as I said, get really tired of the ones that are really classical, especially black ones. I don't like black bags. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me rambling about all my former luxury goods. And um, yeah, I'll leave, this sub I'll leave the subscribe button here for you guys so that you can click on it if you want to subscribe to my channel. And I'll leave my shoe, um, collection video from last year here and my rec most recent designer handbag collection here so that you can go check them out if you want to. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!